Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Lush haul for you. This is a Lush Halloween haul. I just thought I'd show you everything in the Halloween range. I'm pretty sure that I picked up everything um, this year. I even picked up one of the knot wraps which I've never bought before um, just because it was just so cute. So I'll just talk you through what's in the range this year and my initial thoughts on things. I made a big order from Lush online. Um, the only thing I had to pop into store to pick up was my favourite shower gel ever, which is the Lord of Misrule shower cream. This I think was sold out online. Um, I don't think my store normally has it. I think they've just got it in for Halloween. And it is part of the Halloween range, I think, on Lush's website. So yeah, I picked up a bottle because I don't currently have one at the moment. And it's pretty much my favourite Lush scent, like, ever. It is amazing, it smells like patchouli, and I'm not actually sure what else is in it, I just know that it's got patchouli in it. Patchouli, black peppercorn infusion, oh, and vanilla absolute, so it's quite a sweet, um, warm, well not really warm, it's quite a sweet, like, I don't know how to describe it, it just, it's really, really good. Oh, so good. Yeah, it's very sweet and like earthy and if you like the scent of patchouli, then you will love Lord of Misrule. The shower cream and shower gels are quite expensive from Lush. The little bottle of this is 4 95 which is quite a lot. Um, but the scent of this is really, really strong, so you don't have to use a lot really. So I think it is a slightly better volume than some of the other ones and... I just absolutely freaking love it. It is so good. Onto the things I ordered. The first item is this knot wrap. I've never bought one of Lush's knot wraps before, but I just could not resist this adorable one with sugar skulls on it. Um, I just thought it was really, really cute, and I think that'll look really, really nice in my hair. I think this was three pounds fifty, which I think is really good, and I really like it. I love sugar schools i think they're so pretty so that is one of their halloween knot wraps this one is called oh i don't know how to say it calavera this is the calavera knot wrap they also did one that had um eyeballs all over it which is really cool but i knew i wouldn't probably use more than one so i just picked up the one and i just think that's so pretty on to the rest of the bath products um, oh dear, I haven't actually got this out. And there is so many packing peanuts in here. I'm just going to have to chuck them on the floor for the time being. So the next thing we have is the Sparkly Pumpkin Bubble Bar, which I've used before and I really like. Um, it's quite small compared to some of Lush's other bubble bars, but you can still get, I'd say, probably about three baths out of this. Um, oh, and it smells really good. And it's just like a little glittery pumpkin with a little cinnamon stick for a stem. I don't think Lush have done any other products with this scent. It's quite an interesting scent. Um, what is in it? Juniper berry, lime oil and grapefruit oil. I think it's the juniper berry that makes it smell slightly more interesting. I don't know, it smells quite unusual to me. I do get the lime and the grapefruit which are obviously quite sweet and a bit like zesty. But the juniper berry almost gives it kind of a spicy edge to it, which I really, really like. The only problem with this is, obviously, it is very glittery. So if you don't like a lot of glitter in your bathtub, you will not want to be picking one of these up. Oh no! You've covered in glitter! Okay, this is probably the most adorable product from the range. This is the Boo Bath Melts. Now, I'm not overly keen on some of Lush's bath melts. I do find that they make the water a little bit too oily, in my opinion. I don't like that feeling of getting out the tub and feeling, like, greasy. Um, so, it, I'm not really sure why I picked this up, as this is quite a lot of oil. Um, but it's just so cute, and I just couldn't help it. And it's called Boo. I think it's called Boo the Boo Bath Melts. 
Oh, it's a luxury bath oil, sorry, not a bath melt. So this has got cocoa butter, bergamot oil, geranium oil, ginger oil, most absolute sandalwood oil, and Sicilian mandarin oil. Ooh. So obviously the most overpowering scent is probably the cocoa butter because it is pretty much solid cocoa butter. Um, and then you kind of get the floral undertones as well. I'll be honest, I'm not that keen on floral scents. Um, but if you are, you'll probably like this because it is really quite floral. But to me, it's just kind of quite an old-fashioned smell. I'm not going to hold this too much longer because it is melting. Um, but that is boo. Ugh, let's put him down because he's melting on my hand. And it's now covered in glitter. Ugh. I bought both of the Halloween soaps as well, which is probably a mistake because I have quite a lot of lush soaps upstairs in my bedroom. This kind of looks like a dolly mixture. Oh, wow. Oh. It does kind of smell like orange jelly sweeties. Like, you know, the little, almost like jelly tots, but not that fruity. Oh, that's good. This one is called Magic Wand. Um, it looks a little bit more green on the camera than it actually is. Um, it's kind of like black on the top and then a lovely bright orangey yellow colour inside. And I think when this comes into stores, I think it comes in kind of like a big cylinder. So it looks like... Um, a magic wand um but yeah that smells pretty damn good what is in this coconut oil rapeseed oil tangerine oil pomegranate and charcoal Ooh. so i expect this to be slightly exfoliating once you start using it but that is a magic wand yeah it smells like orange jelly sweeties and it's just really really fresh and just delightful. I smelled this in the store actually and I couldn't really, it didn't wow me that much in the store, but as I said <clears throat> before in previous videos, a lot of the times I find if I smell something in the store, I don't quite, you don't quite fully appreciate the scent I don't think because of all the other smells in the store, especially if like me and your local store is like really quite small, it can get a bit, they can get all a bit muddled together because I definitely don't remember this smelling quite so fruity in the store. But that is good. Ooh, lovely. See, the other soap that Lush brought out for Halloween is called Fireside. Um, oh, I was hoping to get one with an actual flame on it. Because this one, the design is like, it's a big red block. And then it's got these like orange and yellow flames in it. But I've kind of got the edges of two flames. Which is a shame. And it's got all kinds of bits of... What I'm assuming is fruit in there. Hmm. Ooh, I'm not sure about that. That's definitely not as nice as Magic Wand. What's in this one? I can't remember the prices of the soaps, but I will leave all that information down in the description box below if you want to check that out. So this one is rapeseed oil and coconut oil again, with extra virgin coconut oil, dried chestnuts, clove bud oil, oh, I think that might be what's putting me off, pimento berry oil, and vanilla absolute. I think maybe it's the clove oil that's kind of throwing me a little bit. Also, I'm not that keen on coconut, so the fact there's extra coconut scent in there isn't really my taste. It is quite creamy, but then... You get a slight fruity scent and kind of like a, I don't know if it's kind of bitter from the clove oil, but I'm not overly keen on that one. On to bath bombs now. We have this one which is called Autumn Leaf and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's a little green and yellow bath bomb and it's shaped like a big leaf. And I think that one's really, really quite pretty. I bought my friend one of these as a gift. Um, because I just think that's really beautiful. It is a little bit powdery though. Ooh. Oh no. It's going everywhere. But that is good. Hmm. 
Mm. It does remind me of, of another Lush bath bomb and I can't think what it is. So this has got bergamot oil, sandalwood oil, neroli oil and Japanese maple sap. The most overwhel like overwhelming scent is the bergamot oil and the sandalwood which mix together really really nicely. Oh that is good. It's kind of more herbally than a lot of Lush's other products which I personally really like and it does really go with the design I think of like an autumn leaf. It does smell like a fresh kind of foresty scent if that makes sense and that's just really really nice. Obviously it wouldn't be a Halloween haul without a Lord of Misrule bath bomb. I will be buying many of these um, before they disappear after Christmas because it is just my favourite bath bomb ever. I love it so much. And obviously it smells uh, the same as the Lord of Mission Royal shower cream. If anything, it's a little bit more sweet in the bath bomb, which I love. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful and I love it. Oh, so good. And I really like what this does in the bath. It's kind of green on the outside and then it's got a really like rich purple centre which makes the water a really dark purple colour. I just find that really comforting and it's just amazing. I just love it so, so much. Mm -hmm. oh, but that is just my absolute favourite. The other two bath bombs in Lush's Halloween range are just adorable. Uh, the first one, I think, is this Jacko Lantern or something? Oh no, it's just called Pumpkin. Um, and it's shaped like a pumpkin. Pretty self-explanatory there. Ooh, oh wow. I really was not expecting that scent. It's kind of like orangey. With kind of like a toffee kind of undertone, which is really, really nice. I don't think Lush have ever produced this one before. I could be wrong, but I don't think they have. Um, and this has pimento berry oil. I've never heard of this before, so I'm not entirely sure what that smells like. Um, vanilla Absolute. Or is it just the two? Oh, right. So it's just got pimento berry oil and vanilla Absolute. So it's really kind of fruity and sweet and then it's got that warm vanilla scent underneath. So it's got that really fruity um, scent on the top and then like the vanilla creamy scent underneath which is really warming and comforting. And it's kind of like the perfect Halloween treat if you're like me and you're not overly keen on like sweets and things. And the last product I have to show you is Lush's other Halloween bath bomb which again is just freaking adorable. I did smell this one in the store um, and I picked one up for my friend um, while I was waiting for my order to come from online. And as soon as I smelt it, I was just so, so excited for it to come because it smells exactly like Calacus, which if like Lord of Misrule is my favorite Lush scent, I'd say Calacus is a very, very close second. Oh my God, it's so good. I actually have a Calacus shower gel upstairs um, one of the bottles from the kitchen which is like the medium sized bottle and I just I'm just like hoarding it because I can't better use it up it's just incredible yeah this is Monsters Ball and it has lime oil, Himalayan rock salt, neroli oil, olibanum oil and cocoa butter oh, I assume the cocoa butter is just his little um, eyeball just there but I just, I was just so excited when I realised that they'd done a bath bomb in the Calacas scent because it is amazing. It is fresh and sweet and it just really, really perks you up. So I think if you are going to go out for like a Halloween party or something, um, this would be the perfect thing to pop in the bath beforehand to get you all pepped up and like ready to dance and stuff. And he's so cute. I think that design is just adorable. It's such like a giftable um, bath bomb. It just honestly makes me feel so happy when I smell this scent. It's so like uplifting. I could literally just smell that all day long. So yeah, those are all the products I bought. I've just realised there is a product I didn't buy from the Halloween range. And that was the 
<clears throat> Goth Fairy Shimmer Bar, which I must say is really, really cute. It's like um, a purpley pink shade and you just kind of rub it over your skin and it makes you all sparkly, which obviously if you're going out for a Halloween party would be ideal. But I just thought it is quite small and it was 5 95 so I just didn't bother picking one up. But again, I think that's a very giftable item and it literally looks like a little fairy. And it's really cute, but I just it's just not a product for me. So that is everything I bought. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you enjoy all my Halloween themed videos that I've got coming up for you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.